Today we will be opening up a Iron Ton 65 foot retractable cord reel. Uh, it's the best priced 15 amp 65 foot retractable cord reel on the market. I think I got this one for 80 bucks. But I've also had to exchange it twice already because the first one, no power would come out the end cord, and the second one uh, would not lock into place when you pulled the cord out. This is the third one, and this one is now also not locking into place. Uh, so we're going to open it up. I was reading online that um, it had something to do about the lock mechanism being over tightened at factory and that uh, somebody else after they loosened it a half turn it worked fine. So I'm going to grab another screwdriver here. Or actually instead of screwdriver, make a little drill extension here. So we're going to open her up. Got fuzzies. Wow, not long enough. Darn it. I do all those by hand? This is going to take forever. Alright. Nope. Alright, forever it shall take. Seven. Okay, I'm going to remove the three nice easy access screws and gently pry this open just in case I didn't get something in here. Looks like I'm going to have to disconnect these three wires, the white, green, and black. Just right. You don't have to completely unscrew the electric... Wow, these aren't even tight. As long as we're at it, let me see if the... Nope, that was loose. 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 Good thing I didn't actually try and put 15 amps through this thing yet. 
Look at this. Look at that. Look at that. Just wrap it together. Holy crap. That is embarrassing. Oh, that goes to the circuit breaker, which is... They soldered the mother thing on. <laughs> okay, well... That's what we're at. So, now we're into the mechanism. Because that's not coming off there. That's where the contacts go on. Okay, so that plastic piece is supposed to come off. Yeah, this ain't gonna happen with the cover on. Much better. Next, we got to open up, remove this. way. This isn't attached to this. This is pushing out on that. Yeah, uh, I'm going to break in that. All right, next. Try a different way. There are way too many. There are way too many. Oh my gosh, look at that. The wire's not even in the hole. Not tight either. Uh, I should just return this one and try a different brand. You get what you pay for. So apparently I only paid for three, three uses. <laughs> okay, that's off. Still don't want to come out. All right, let's flip it over. 
Those are what's making contact, which is pretty much nothing. This is rated at 15 amp. I really don't see that. Whoa. Let's see what's behind this door. No, 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 no. Ah. A single really shitty tiny screw. Here it comes. It's already broken anyways. German and Spanish. Big dangerous springs be in there. So I didn't have to take the rest of that bullshit apart. I just had to remove one damn screw from that side. Quality check bullshit. So this is the lock mechanism. I don't even really see which way does this thing go? Oh, clicky clicky with the cricky. So as it turns and then goes back, click click. I don't understand that. Well, either way, the guy said he loosened it one half turn. Wow, it does move a little. Freer. Let's tighten it one half turn. Ah, interesting. Still don't grasp the concept, but hey, if they think it works, if they think it works. Lock, release, pull it the other way, and it spins. Whatever. There we go. Let's put it together and see if something happens. I don't know. Um, now we lost a few wines on the spring there. No big deal. this on first. Since now that I know I did not need to take that off. Una, dos, tres. Okay, now that's out of my way. The little spliner thingy my jiggers are directional. Ah, yep, fit, fit right in there. Fit like a glove. Alright. Oh, that's the noise I like. And retract mundo. There, perfect. Uh, so we want a little more tension on it. So rewind it a couple times. Keeps the tension on there. Great. Now we put these uh, little thingamabobbers. That goes there. It retains. Now they're not. These aren't directional. All right. Great. Um, I think I'll put the rest of this back together first, then I'll put this little screw back on the other side that we took off. Um, so that goes up through there. Uh, but we're going to fix, as long as you're in here, check these electrical connections, because these are... 
not right. Ah, they didn't even have all the conductor in the uh, little little uh, terminal end there before crimping it. There's a fair bit of copper. Of course, there's some mild grease. Looks like a uh, molly. Some molly in here. Maybe some white lithium. All right, now another trick to get this back together. We can let the uh, angry pixies out. Uh, this fits into the channel there. Yeah. So we're gonna, we're gonna line up them. No, I got it wrong. Or do I? I do. Circuit breaker goes through this hole. No, I don't have the owner's manual. I do believe there was a uh, wire schematic. A wire schematic. Oh, everything goes through this hole. Yeah, there we go. Props off to the uh, lovely folks in China who put these things together. You have more patience than I. Get in there, you fuck. little holders in the front. Don't want to go in their spots. <laughs> yep, there. Much better. <laughs> that didn't take long. A secret for getting those off. Let me go get my secret. And a terminal end. Alright, one of these, a little bit of tarnation. I'll show up there after. Turn on it. The trick. I don't even think that's a 15 amp. The trick to getting soldered terminals off is a wire wheel, or you know, worn out wire wheel. <laughs> ROHS compliant. They don't tighten down the terminals, but they go through the, the, the pain in the ass, so they're of, uh, of, uh, <laughs> soldering that on.
like butter. I like butter. Butter's good. Butter's yummy. Fuck. I'm missing a wire. Oh. Yeah. There it is. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Lob the end of that bugger on him. Strip down. Strip. Twist. And then pray that this is the correct terminal end. And I don't think it is. Fuck. Chicken box. Yo. Sixteen to fourteen gauge wiring. Not. Not what is on here. What is this bastard? 15 amp, but no length, so what did they put in here? 12. Of course they put 12. Of course they put 12. What else would they put? Let's see. 12. Five female quick disconnects, 16 to 14, 8 WG American wire gauge. Shit. Mother of freaking pearl. I suppose, and since that was just open anyways, I suppose I could just solder that bugger right in there and wrap it around and solder it. Yeah, let's just do that. Go warm up my iron. Will I even fit through the damn hole? I also well put some heat shrink on there too. Heat shrink, heat shrink, where are you? Where are you? Of course, I only have my freaking shitty soldering iron with me. Wrap it there around my tripod. So I'm working on my extension cord. <laughs> That's only 25 watt. I'm working on my extension cord. My only other unhand extension cord. It's too short. I suppose I could just move the golf cart and be a little easier. Let's see, what do I got? It's a little big. A little small. Big and small, we've got them all. That's gonna be too damn big. Oh, how did I miss these? Used up a lot working on these damn golf carts. Oh, I'd really like to put one on that one, but I just now yeah, maybe I'll desolder that there. Cut this bugger in half. Okay, got some heat shrinky. Shrink it in. Shrink it in. Well, I gotta get this done in 15 minutes because I gotta pick up kids from school. Screw, 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 screw. I suck at soldering. Just give you a heads up on that. It's not hot enough anyway. Shit. <clears throat> Boom! Lead dust. My favorite! This is gonna suck by this.
I don't want to break it. another connector. You know what? Fuck it. Just do this one. Go from that side. <laughs> Think that's bad? This is 120 volts. Go into this LED here. Yeah. That's 120 volts going to an LED. And there's bare wire on it. Well, maybe not 120. Right there. Probably got a little resistor in there. Maybe, uh, uh, I don't know, maybe uh, like a 1 8 watt. Five thousand ohm or something. I don't know. Is this hot enough yet? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Do it over here. I don't want to f this thing up too badly because if shit hits the fan, I'm gonna return this mother. Told you I suck at soldering. use my propane torch. Yes, drink it up, drink it up. The back side. Bend over. Bend over, Dan, bend over. Red Rover is coming over. Smells like uh, melting petroleum byproduct, also known as plastic. Oh, that's right. I was melting plastic with this soldering iron last week. <laughs> Had a cracked 12 volt battery. Casing cracked because my dad dropped it. Yeah, that bitch ain't going anywhere. Folks, okay, not smart on my part. Yeah, it's hot. This is heat shrink. No shit, folks. longer doing this than I anticipated. Light up the torch. Right by all this flammable materials and batteries that are probably gassing off hydrogen right now. <laughs> Good enough. I 
don't even need the 15 amp throughput of this thing. This, this is just, yeah. I just needed 65 feet. I need to be able to get to the street. Worst case scenario, I charged the cars with this. I suppose that would draw 15 amp. Plug in the Tesla. Release the hounds. Of course, now I need to throw it back in there. Fit. Damn it. Damn it, Janet. design and I could have just put it on there but you know this one like <laughs> get in there. I don't even care about the LED that just tells you if the damn circuit breaker popped or not. <laughs> Must have been a after the Get rid of that. Don't need it. Holy crap, that pulled right out of there. This seriously needs to be recalled in its commercial off the shelf form. terminal blocks a very crappy method of transferring power to the cord and loose connections how this hasn't burned someone's fucking house down yeah, I don't know. here's a butt wipe here go around some of the uh, cancer dust yeah. Ooh. Next. Let's see. That cord goes out like that. I can do that. That little bastard in there. All right. Where's the? Uh... Where's the circle of love? Watch me get this bastard back together, and the clicky clicky don't work anymore. Reset. Push to reset. <laughs> One. Uno. Dos. Tres. Quadra. Yes. <laughs> it works. It actually held it out. It held it out. Certainly beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. Where's my screws? I need screws, I need screws, I need screws, I need screws. I don't remember what the fuck is. Yeah. Well, maybe we'll start with the ones that are still in the damn holes here. And see what we got left, folks. Once I get this together, we'll flip her over and put this damn tiny little spindle one in there. goes there.
tiny bastard goes there, the medium bastards go there, and there. Uh, my carpal tunnel is hating me right now. fits there. Shit, I just wasted all that time. Yeah, I'm that lazy. I'm not doing that one by hand. Finish that one. Do that one. Okay. went a little deeper than I had kind of expected there. Alright, maybe that doesn't reach out away. So I will finish those off by hand. Make sure those fuckers are tight. Oh, I was going to leave the LED in there. Too late! over quality check oh nine bullshit yeah there we go there right there oh. there shazam now to put this heavy bitch back on the wall it works it works! Ow. That's it! Oh, no, no, it's not it. Got this crappy little cover here. Deceitful little bastard. One tiny little left hook screw to save some time. There, we're done. Iron ton. Iron ton. Weighs a ton. Definitely no iron. A uh, little steel, mostly copper, plastic, and a whole lot of bullshit. Wow, if you made it to 42 minutes, congratulations. Don't forget to like and subscribe.